What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds. So today I have for you a really different sort of project to my normal builds. This is a medieval lumber mill. So let's get straight into the build and I'll talk you through reasons why I'm doing this. So this building itself is based upon like a Tudor uh, medieval building. It's, it's gonna be white plaster with these nice stripped dark oak logs used as like timbers. So it's gonna be a timber frame building. And I've never built in this style before. So this is full disclosure, my first building in a sort of medieval Tudor fashion. And I gotta say, I actually really enjoyed building in it. I, I've, I've always been quite adamant I would never like this style because it's too clumsy, too uh, like chaotic, but I've managed to find a way of bringing order and a sort of nice planned feel to it but it can still feel quite rustic and interesting. So using lots of different block types that I haven't used before, you see there I, I experimented with some campfires as a way of making a little railing, and it, it's really opened my eyes to a new possibility, a new sort of project I could start. And that is kind of what this video is all about. This video is just gonna be the start of a little village. The village is known as Burley. So you may be thinking, Burley, that's a cool sounding name. So I've stolen that from real life. There is a little village in the forest called Burley, which is focused mainly on like witches and witchcraft. It's uh, quite a tourist trap in the summer for people to come down to. And I feel the name suits this place quite nicely. So over the coming months, I'm gonna hopefully add more and more buildings to this little village in this similar style, this, this, this sort of take on medieval that I've done. And we're gonna see like a church, a few more shops, uh, a couple more houses, maybe even a few more pubs. I say a few more pubs, yes that's right, and, and later on in this video I do actually build a tavern type building as well, because you know what, even if you have a lumber mill and just one other house, you might as well have a pub as well to bulk it out a little bit. So there isn't actually a name for that pub yet, so when you see it later on, you know, think about the first thing that comes to your head, comment below what sort of name we should give that, um, that pub, but yeah, I really enjoyed building this, and there's no word of a lie. I definitely want to do more of it. So there is that, and this project will continue, like I said. Uh, I don't know when, it's gonna be quite sporadic, I believe, but if it just sort of, when I get bolts of inspiration come my way, I'm gonna go, right, let's go back there, build another building. Like I mentioned, I do want to build a church, so I'm gonna have a look into that, see what sort of styles I'm gonna go for for that. So you can see I'm building like a little dock there to take all of the, the lumber and the sawn planks away, and now moving on to the couple of other little buildings we've got here. So this is just a little house. Uh, I, I didn't really give it a name or a, a title. It's just another sort of worker's house for the, for the sawmill. There's already one built onto the side and you see the layout there to the left. That is the tavern. So like I said, drop a name down below on something you feel would fit that place quite nicely. We also built a little well here, gave a little bit of detailing around it. And that is actually what drew me to this the fact i can add a little details minecraft is very good at using the colors and the blocks to build this style obviously because it's kind of based around that but the fact that i turn stuff using these similar blocks into victorian and georgian buildings makes it slightly different that i can do this as well so i hope you guys understand that this isn't my normal building style and so obviously i've left out a lot of the extra details a lot of people do to these things but i really really like it so I'm going to leave you guys the rest of the time lapse, there's a little cinematic at the end and then we're going to jump into a sort of first person showcase where I'm going to wander around and talk a little bit more about the town. So I'll see you then.
Right, thanks for sticking with the video to this point. So you find me now in this unnamed tavern, obviously later will be named by one of you lucky guys, and I just want to say, I like it. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's, you know me, you know I'm a Victorian builder, and to, to me, breaking out of that comfort zone was quite hard to do. So the fact I, I, I'm actually happily sort of enough to say I've done it, and I want to build more of it is is a big step forward for me and that's kind of why I wanted to share this video with you guys because I wanted to show you that I'm you know comfortable with a bit more than just building in that in that Victorian style so I'm going to wander out this quite empty pub I don't know why I've got in here early morning close the door behind me and we are now along the main little road that stretches through Burley so up this way let's just ignore all the stuff I built and go up this way into the trees where I'm sort of looking in the direction of somewhere I want to build the church. It's like up here in this little bit at the bottom of the hill. And we've got this nice in inland lake here. And there's just lots and lots of stuff we can do with this area, which I think would work quite nicely with building a few more houses and, and a little village itself. Even put some sort of monument on the hill. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm open to all sorts of suggestions and all sorts of ideas. But. I just want to say I'm actually quite looking forward to putting a bit more in here. So let's take a little wander down here into the sunrise while it goes behind the trees there. And we've come to our first little house. So I put these little, um, not outhouses as such, but these little coverings out here. I, I try to. You can see here, this is where I forgot to change it to the uh, white, white concrete powder rather than a stripped oak it started off in the video. And yeah, so I, I liked these because they just give a little bit more extra depth to the walls. Uh, I've tried to put a little bit of growth up the side here, which works quite nicely. And what I was quite happy with is the fact I can integrate brick into these styles. So you see a lot of medieval stuff where it is just pure wood and obviously with stone and cobblestone and, you know, stone bricks. But where I've gone for this, this plastered look, this later medieval, this, this Tudor style, you can mix in a lot more styles and a lot more bricks and, and, and blocks with it. And I think it works quite nicely. Yes, I've gone for the uh, sort of cliche way of doing the chimneys with campfires and, and a few little um, trapdoors, but I think it works quite nicely for this sort of stuff. Uh, this is the second building. It's just a little worker's house. We have got a lovely granite fire inside. We can jump up and have a little look. This door doesn't work. It's just trapdoors. Uh, and then, yeah, come on over here to the little... Um, well and I like it I like the little covering I've done on the top um, I, I, I've probably seen it somewhere and, and, and copied it but I can't remember where I've seen it maybe Instagram or something but yeah and, and, and for a little bucket I've gone for the barrel with a iron railing just dangling off there but I have seen actually in the latest snapshot chains are now a thing so this would definitely definitely uh, benefit from having chains in there uh, and then we move on to the actual main building itself the first one I, this is all I intended to build I just ended up building a pub and some other stuff as well because that's just me. Uh, and we're coming up here into the, the logs. So we've got all these logs that's left lying around, uh, strapped up. Uh, I've gone for, yeah, stairs, not stairs, uh, steps and um, railings for that. And the idea is that these guys cut down this, this birch that's lying around everywhere. Uh, it gets dragged over here by some barge or something. Left here, it can be exported or it can go into here and be chopped up on the uh, on the sawmill. So what you're seeing now is a birch tree that has been sort of split in twain and become planks. So that was that was my intention here to sort of make this look a bit more realistic. So I've gone for, uh, uh, put out campfires and then some sawmills in here. So it looks like it's got the running bed. You've then got the moving arm from the the uh, the water turbine, the water well out there, and you've got some logs left here lying around, ready to be grabbed and thrown on here and sawn up. So if we go on through into this little room here, this would be the living quarters of the, the, the person that ran the sawmill. I've got to say, it's a lovely big fireplace in this huge room. No upstairs to speak of, but you have got this nice beam running across the length of the building. Uh, and you could do something nice, it's cosy in here. It's white, it's bright. Uh, for the windows, I've gone for just using fence posts. I think it works quite nicely. From the reference picture I saw of a real life building, they do have these really small wooden windows rather than glass, because I think glass must have been expensive during this time period. Well, I know it was, because there was a window tax in the Georgian period. And then we come out here to the back, and you've got a little lean-to again. You've got the fire stack there, 
and then we come onto the back of the lumber mill so you've got some already cut up planks waiting to be exported and you've got the back here with another sloped roof and a little one off there as well and sort of I want to come around and actually look at the, the water well itself so this is the first time I've ever built one of these and obviously circles come second nature to most builders but it was the idea of putting some some stairs on there was quite a nice touch I thought rounds it off a bit more makes it feel a bit more of a will so you can see underneath there I started off making it out of stripped oak and then I suddenly went oh, that doesn't look too good so I covered it in trapdoors rather than changing it but I think the trapdoors worked and made it out to be quite nice also you can see on the roof up there I tried to detail some of the, uh, the wooden wooden tiles to look a bit used a little bit worn with some um, I can't remember that is spruce I guess uh, yeah of course it is a spruce it's the same as the edges and then the same with the plaster gone for some diorite in there to mix up with the white concrete uh, powder so it adds a little bit of extra texture it looks like it's been damaged or you know worn about a little bit so that sort of concludes our little walk around of this place let's come stand over here and look at it in the sunshine I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed. Uh, I know I'm sort of tooting my own trumpets with that, but I'm really impressed of how this turned out because this isn't actually how I build. This isn't the style I build in. So that's why I'm kind of rambling on going, wow, this is amazing because I know, I know there's so many of these styles out there, but but to me, I'm just, I'm just happy that I've managed to do it finally. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to say thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you around more for the rest of this project as it com comes on in the coming months. But yeah, so stick around for that, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.